Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you a Chaos Giant Slayer Guide for 2017. They are located in Caldagrim, and they're found in what is called the Barander Caves. So you basically get there by going to the Caldagrim Lodestone, then go northeast and enter the caves. Then you want to go east and enter the caves again, then go south and enter the cave again. Then finally you want to enter northeast of the cave. The only requirement you need for this is the Birthright of Dwarves quest complete. I highly suggest you unlock the Reloading Cannon perk for Artisan's Workshop. For my equipment setup, I'm using melee since they're weak to melee. I have a Nox Scythe, and although they're weak to stab, slash attacks should work just fine. You can use an Attuned Crystal Halberd or a Lance as a great alternative. Then I have Full Slayer Helmet. I would bring Bandos or Torva Plate Body. Bandos should be fine. The perks I have is just Crackling 3. Then I have Bandos Plate Legs, and the perks I have are Genocidal and Biting 2 plus Mobile. Then I have Bandos Gloves, and then Bandos Boots. You can maybe use Silverhawk Boots if you want Agility XP. Then I have Surgeon's Ring, otherwise you can use Luck of the Dwarves if you want the Hazelmere Signet Chance. I have Amulet of Zaylots, and this does better DPS with Leech Curses than Turmoil or the new tier 99 Prayer. Now with Nox Scythe or Lance, you're 100% accurate on task. It basically does 18% more damage compared to 10% or 12%. Now otherwise if you want to AFK, you can use Blood Amulet or Amulet of Souls. Then I would suggest you bring an Uncharged Godbook, but otherwise a Scrimshaw of Vampirism or Vampirism Blood Essence if you're actually struggling to heal. Then I have Vampirism Aura or Penance Aura, which is for extra healing. Then finally, the Elf City Quiver is just for prayer bonus. For my inventory setup, I have Aggression Potions. Then I have Holy Overloads, Weapon Poison Plus Plus, and I bring a few Replenishment Potions along with Prayer Potions. I also have a regular Dwarf Cannon, and I load this with a thousand cannonballs at a time. Now this basically helps draw their attention. The melee and Mage Cannons do work here, but it's not really that effective because they don't do much damage and they're actually quite spread out. You're basically using this cannon just to tag. Then I have Spring Cleaner and Alc Runes, and they do drop a lot of rune items. Then I have Ring of Vigor and Enhanced Excalibur, which is going to be an extra healing source. I have Bone Crusher and Charming Imp, both of which are my tool belt, and you can unlock this for Slayer Points. Then finally I bring a Legendary Pet, although you can maybe bring Steel Titan instead, but the auto loot profit really does add up, for prayers, I have Leech Strength, and this does more DPS than Turmoil, since you're 100% accurate. Then I have Soul Split, and this should heal more than enough damage as you deal. Alright, so for my action bar, I have Cleave on the first slot, and then I fill the rest of the basics. Tuska's Wrath can be kept on the side, just in case you want quick Adrenaline, or just quick DPS basically. Then for Thresholds, I have Hurricane and Quake. You may want to use other non-multi-target thresholds such as Slaughter or Blood Tendrils or Assault because they're not always clustered together. They're kind of spread out basically. Then for Ultimates, the only thing you want to use is Berserk. Now otherwise you can use Meteor Strike if you do see a cluster, but Berserk really helps with quick DPS. So for my strategy, just place the cannon where I placed it, which is a little north of the entrance. You want to use AoE abilities near the cluster of Chaos Giants, and prioritize Berserk as your ultimate, because these things are pretty spread out. And don't rely too much on auto retaliate, since you can move all over the place. And yeah, pretty much they don't really hit that hard. You can also use Replenishment Potion after Berserk, which can really quickly get you to thresholds. Now barging also helps move across the map pretty nicely. As for drops, the drops are actually okay. Mostly you get Noted Herbs and Dragon Dart Tips. Occasionally you can get a Dragon Pickaxe. So really just expect 2.5 mil to 3 mil profit per hour from the Legendary Pet Scavenge. Now this is all factoring in the cost of Cannonballs. And I'm not actually including the drop chance of the Dragon Pickaxe because I don't know how much their drop rate is from Chaos Giants. For Charms it's actually pretty terrible. So overall in 16.5 minutes. I killed 106 Chaos Giants. Now extrapolating this in a full hour, you get 385 kills per hour. 
680k melee XP per hour, and 360k Slayer XP per hour. Now this task is okay for Slayer XP, but the combat XP is pretty nice as well. Not the best task, but it's still worth doing if you're low on Slayer points. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.